the guests all gone? Are the Rutherfords still here? They just left. Steph, you sure you want to go through with this? School starts in three weeks. I'm already late trying to find a place. It's Chicago, Bill. If I'm gonna go, I need to go now. What are you gonna learn about hospitality that you don't already know? You could teach those classes. I'm sorry, but I don't want to stay here the rest of my life. You know, I'm just so sick of quaint. We put the hot tubs in the rooms. Mom would have freaked about that. But you wanted to, and, and I listened, and it worked out. Thanks, Bill. That was great. But you know, I could have dealt with the contractors and gotten them installed myself. I really wanted to. I could let you do more things like that. Well, then, can we move this whole house to Tuscany? Or Croatia? Steph. Somewhere where there are hills and oceans rather than endless corn to the horizon? Um, Bill, this is my friend Eric. He's going to help me move. His car is bigger than mine, so it should all fit. Glad you. Eric? It is Eric, right? Uh, please don't put those in your car yet. Yeah, we're not really sure she's ready to go, so why don't you just set them on the porch for now? You don't know what you've got here, Stephanie. I mean, how many people have a family business? This is our heritage. I can't, I can't run this place by myself. You'll do fine. Doris wants more hours. No, 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 those are mom's quilts. You're, you're not taking mom's quilts. Those belong in the bed. That's the quilt mom made for me. Mom's shears. You're not, you're not taking mom's shears. I wanted to put them on my windowsill. Eric, I think you can see we're having a family discussion here. Would you mind just waiting out on the porch for a few minutes? Uh, well, thank, thank you. This is our family, Steph. You're turning your back on our family. It's just you and me, Bill. I know how you feel, and I know how much you love this place, but all you let me do is make beds and book rooms. This stuff belongs here. You belong here. Our family. You're turning your back on our, our family. You don't know what you've got here. How many people have a family business? This is our heritage. You want you want to leave everything? Do you? Then you're gonna leave everything. Eric, bring in those boxes from the porch. I'm taking this with. What kind of brother wouldn't want his little sister to go to college? Who are you? How do you know Stephanie anyway? 
We met online. Since we're going to the same school, I said she could stay at my place. Until I find a place of my own. Oh, now it's all making sense. You're the one who put her up to this. I live in, uh, live in Chicago, do you? I get it. I yeah. get it. Well, we have been talking. Do you want her to just make beds for the rest of her life? I know she works for cheap, but she's got bigger and better things waiting for her. What do you know, Mr. Bigger and Better? You're messing with something here you have no understanding of. You guys, you two guys, no one put me up to anything. I'm the one who decides what I want to do with my life. Maybe if you got out of this tiny little town to see the world, you'd have some more understanding yourself. You have no idea, no idea. I have seen the world, and this is a beautiful part of it. Maybe it's her turn. You're messing with something here you have no This is quaint. It is authentic. It is real. But this business is competitive. You want it to come crashing down. She's just going to school. She'll be back. But there may not be anything for her to come back to. I suppose you want this place uh, a bulldozed over and we'll put in, uh, what, a Starbucks? It's not about this place, goddammit. It's about Stephanie's life. You're goddamn right. It's about her life.